Hey everyone, we are out at the track. It's late, a little bit of rain delay, always it seems like here in Colorado, but I'm out here with Tim with the uh, Camaro you guys saw in a previous video. He's been driving around, having fun on the street, had 11 pound spring on it, just pump gas. So put a little bit more timing in it, turn up the boost a little bit, and this will be his first uh, trans brake launch. We set all that up and everything's good to go. So we're gonna start dialing in the car, try to make some power and try to get some good times out of it here. So we're gonna head up to the lanes here in a minute. April's here and she's gonna run the car uh, for the first time after doing all the injector stuff to the Mazda tonight here locally. See if we can get like a 1270 or whatever. The fastest time before it's a 12.9. So she's gonna try to better that, but still, the, it, it sounds like it's losing compression in that cylinder because the uh, the injector, like the seals, the Teflon seals in that previous video, it sounds like they were good for like a, a couple times, and then we started losing that. So we went to Bowling Green, and now you can hear like it losing compression, and I believe it's coming out of that injector port. So we'll just see. We've just been playing with it, having fun with it. So that's what we're doing, and see how the night goes. Here we go. Tim's in the lane. April's in the lane with Clyde. You hear that? You hear that? That's that seal issue I think that we got going on. Here she goes. Super good for her. I think if you stall it, it might even go 1250 something. You did a little stall, not a lot. Cool, that's awesome. So it went uh, 659, 116 in the eighth, and then you were on the brakes hard to go yeah. 1050s, whatever. So yeah. 116 in the eighth is freaking solid mile an hour, man. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. I think it started sprinkling a little bit again. Did it really? All right, so we uh, looked at the tune-up in Tim's car. It looked great, so we put another three on top, lowered the two-step so we can get to it this time. Uh, he's just going to sit there until it gets to the two-step as long as it's not too long. So then we can see what the car will do on the two-step. The converter is pretty tight in the car, so we're just going to see what happens. I lost it, though. 1260s at elevation. 60 flat. Now i got to try to go for a 50. And then all we need is like a 50 shot, and it'll go 12 O's up here, maybe 1190. So we'll... Uh, we might go. I'm gonna actually go change it back over because I put it in blended mode on the Gen 5 stuff. I should have left it in mass airflow only, blah, blah, blah. I don't think it's gonna mess with anything up top, but I'm gonna try it. So we added three pounds up top and we're gonna try to hit the trans brake this time to hit the two step.
to it like 140, probably because it uh, he tripped the beam, so then the clock started. I don't know if the trans brake wasn't holding him that time or what. All right, we'll see what it does with another degree of timing, and then I took it out of blended mode only in mass airflow. She's gonna try to stall it again a little bit. She's really been working on it. It's super hard with the car and how tight the converter is, but see how she does. So 1272, 108, slow down a little bit, same mile an hour. So we'll see what the uh, 60 foot looked like. So everyone's gonna make one more pass and head home. She's tired, but uh, we're gonna look at Tim's tune up and see what went, what happened, and then also probably try to turn it up a little bit. Here she goes, last pass. Let's see how she does. So maybe with the car getting heat soaked and stuff, it slows it down just by about a tenth, it looks like. She's pretty much made three back-to-back -back passes, but not too bad. So on the last pass, Tim had some new driver blues. His thumb slipped off the trans brake, so he thinks all's good. Let's see how it does here. Spun a little down low, didn't it? It did, yeah. Yeah. So, let's get inside here. We'll take a look at it. Well, not bad. 646 at 119 in the eighth, and 975 at 149 in the quarter. All right, so this is Tim's fourth pass. Turned up the two steps, see if we can leave on a little bit more boost. Um, probably not going to run out the back. We think we might be running out either it's low on fuel so we added a bunch more fuel because it's starting to lose fuel pressure so we ought to keep an eye on that.
turned up the uh, two-step quite a bit and made a lot more boost and the track's getting colder, so that's what happens. <laughs> All right, everyone, so that is it. We're done, uh, threw a little bit extra in it and the track's getting cold and everything. It's starting to get to that time of the year in Colorado, so track goes away when it gets cold here for sure. Um, but it definitely left on a little bit more power there. So we'll be back with more videos of Tim's Camaro for sure. So if you would please hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.